Welcome back to the 2002 project. I moved some stuff around and now I'm going to go ahead and start pulling stuff out so I can swap in the new built motor. I'm just going to throw my uh, transmission jack underneath to try and uh, support the transmission so it can stay where it is maybe. Might save me a little bit of time, I don't know. Um, and then maybe, you know, take the weight, move it forward slightly and then maybe I can take it out. I don't know, I've never seen anybody do it this way with the 2002 but uh, I'm going to give it a shot and see how it goes. Here we are under the car. I got the uh, the flywheel uh, cover plate there off, and I have the transmission supported. So now I'm going to go back on top and pull this engine out of here. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, loosen up the motor mounts on both sides, and then. Uh, should be good to yank this thing out of here. I've actually had pretty decent luck with this uh, 215 millimeter clutch holding power. It's not going to hold too much more than uh, this engine was making at uh, 7 psi, but it still might be kind of a fun experiment to see how much power, you know, a, a decent quality uh, 215 can actually hold. I do destroy this. Um, I'll uh, probably just go ahead and get. Instead of a 228 millimeter clutch, I have a uh, 240 millimeter, and I'm going to somehow figure out a way to adapt it. I may have to go and use my uh, E30 M3 transmission and rework the tunnel. I don't know. That's a, that's a problem for later me. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this to reuse and then throw this engine on a stand. And then I have uh, some stuff in the engine bay that I need to address uh, prior to putting in the uh, the built motor. Now it's time for me to pull the steering box out so that I can uh, reseal that because it's leaking real bad and then uh, I'll also have access to the uh, driver side motor mount here and uh, that needs to get a weld-in reinforcement plate. I'm gonna have to mark a whole bunch of things. I'm gonna have to mark the reference point here, uh, the reference point there, reference point there, and uh, just make sure I don't get anything out of whack for when I reinstall it. So, I'm going to get that steering box out of there. The next thing I'm going to do here is I've got my reinforcement piece. You essentially, it just gets welded to the, uh, to the back side of the subframe, just like that, kind of sandwiched in there. And then that prevents this little stanchion piece from uh, snapping off. Well, I can't say that it's my, uh, my finest work, but I think it will do the trick. 
So now I'm going to go ahead and uh, sand it down a little bit, get it cleaned up, and then paint it. Got the uh, steering box resealed and reinstalled along with a uh, urethane flex disc there in the, uh, the steering joint. And uh, let me tell you, this was a real fun process. Thank God. Jesus Christ. I'm just kidding. It wasn't that bad. But uh, that's not really what this video is about. So I may actually build this one into a close ratio box someday because somebody offers the, uh, the conversion kit for that now, um, which is pretty cool. So that may be a future video, maybe uh, doing a complete rebuild on these. But this video is not about that. So, moving along. Now I'm going to go ahead and throw the uh, bracket that goes from the engine to the motor mount in place. And this gets torqued to 35 foot-pounds. And same thing on this side. I'm going to go ahead and install the flywheel with uh, some new flywheel bolts. There's a range given for these, 100 newton meters to 115 newton meters. Uh, so I'm doing, you know, somewhere in the middle. First one I do, you need to see Elon in the, like before the car. You ready to have a crazy... Next I'm going to install the clutch to flywheel bolts and torque them to 17 foot-pounds and these are getting just a little bit of blue Loctite and then they also have um, split lock washers as well so that'll help keep them <coughs> from coming loose now I'm gonna go ahead and install just a little bit of white lithium grease along the uh, the snout here where it reaches into the pilot bearing a little bit on the splines there and then on the uh, inside diameter of the throw out bearing where it rides on the, uh, the little tower piece that bolts to the front of the transmission Alright, looking pretty good. Got it lowered into place, kind of. Don't have the uh, engine mounts in place yet. But I got uh, the input shaft aligned with the clutch and everything. And now I'm just going to bolt uh, the bell housing together. The uh, M8 diameter bolts are going to get torqued to 19 foot-pounds. And the M10 diameter bolts are going to get torqued to 35 foot-pounds. And then I'm going to move along to the engine mounts. So these are the uh, motor mounts that I'm going to be running. It's kind of nice because this one actually already has elongated studs that uh, make it so that it should work pretty well with the uh, reinforcement that I welded in there. So I'm kind of going to have to play around with some stuff to finesse them into place, but it, uh, it shouldn't be too difficult. All right, we're looking good. I'm gonna go ahead and install the uh, starter now. And uh, the two bolts that attach it are also gonna get torqued to 35 foot-pounds. And then I have this little uh, bracket that I made for my throttle cable. 
and that's going to get installed as well. Back under the car, just going to install the uh, flywheel cover there and then get the transmission jack out of the way. That's going to do it for this episode. Make sure to subscribe for the next installment. Thanks for watching.